And it is time to get in the kitchen with Miss Candy Stone. She is here looking fabulous indeed. Yes, your, thank you. Uh, your hat's amazing. <laughs> yeah, your hat is fantastic. Tw I kind of forgot mine. Tawana, where'd your hat go? Uh, it's okay. It's, it, it'll come back. <laughs> it'll it'll come back show. later. Um, uh, hey, I know where it is. Let's, uh, let's talk about Derby Day. Derby Day is yes. coming up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It is uh, the Kentucky Derby. So many people are going to be dressed up, uh, having watch parties all over the Delta. Whenever you have a watch party, you want to make sure that that party is well stacked uh, mm -hmm. with, with your cocktails, with all your different stuff. And uh, it looks like you actually have the secret. On yeah, you have a great. full you, spread of everything going on. You have to have a perfect mix of appetizers, sweets, a dip, a good sandwich, red roses. That's like, that's uh, key for the derby. Mm -hmm. Aside from hats. Right. Aside from the hats, which I am lacking in right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I, might, I feel a little naked, to and be honest. And, and, and the bow ties, right? And, and, and the bow ties. You yes. got you to bring the bow ties. Exactly. You put on your most spring dress, right. Easter, mm -hmm. whichever, put on a hat with it. So let me ask you this. What is your go-to when you're throwing a party? What are some of your things that you love to do that really make the party? our favorite, most popular things that are always gone first at the house. Okay. So uh, we started with a slider. Who doesn't love a slider, right? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. All right, so agree. we have sliders here. So okay. it's just a uh, uh, Hawaiian bread. Okay. Right? So these are already cooked. These are already opened. I cut these in half. Mm -hmm. I layered um, with a Dijon mustard. Okay. okay. So just a little different there. So could you have used like spicy Dijon? Yeah, whatever or doesn't, you like. This is just okay. our preference. We're, we're a big spice fan. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so I uh, layered this uh, mm -hmm. with ham. Swiss cheese. Okay. So when we get ready to bake, Hunter, if you don't mind, I've got a little thing of uh, sauce in the oven. If it's not too warm, if you'll grab that, it shouldn't the, be. Which? <laughs> the white, yeah. <laughs> so we. Um, oh, I think he's a little scared. <laughs> when you can grab it. I got this. I got this. <laughs> so we're going to fold these back over. It's just the mustard, the ham, Good the job. cheese, whatever, put whichever that you like. There okay, you go. so what Perfect. is this magical sauce that just okay, came out of the so oven? Okay, so this, and we're going to have all of these recipes on Facebook here very soon. Uh, but basically, all you're going to do is take a fork, punch holes in the top of your rolls. This okay. sauce is optional, but it really is the key to these. It's 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 definitely the flavor. Absolutely. Yes. So Smash. you're going to poke holes punch. here. The recipe will be on Facebook. But this sauce here is a little bit of butter, mm -hmm. brown sugar, a oh. little bit of garlic, and also Worcestershire sauce. Nice. Okay. I hate saying that word, but that, that, there you go. <laughs> it's always so hard to say. All right. So all you do is take just that. Spoon it on top. Exactly. Put some on top. We're going to bake these for just a minute, and then there's our finished project there. So it just gives it a, such a, a nice different uh, twang there. And so when you're doing that, what do you got going here real quick? Okay, so this is spicy crackers. Okay. Right? So we have okay. the finish here. These are club crackers. This in my Ziploc bag is actually uh, just saltines, just your mm -hmm. regular okay. saltines. Here I've already mixed a cup of canola. It has to be canola. It has oil, to, nothing wh else. Why? It just canola. soaks in better? It's just a different flavor. Vegetable oil is very heavy. Very, oh, it's okay. So it's canola. Be way too exactly. Yeah, okay. So, so canola, canola oil. Okay. One cup of canola, uh, two tablespoons of red pepper, okay. uh, crushed red pepper, and then a packet of ranch seasonings. So Ooh. you can mix that all together, and we're going to pour. Oh, look at that. I was wondering what? how you were going to do this. Yeah, so we're going to just pour this just on top. And the then you give it to your kids, throw it all exactly. together. Exactly, exactly. So Hopefully you, can put you this don't in a crush the crackers bag in the process, right? Or a uh, container with a lid. And what I do at home is I sit, and every time I walk by as I'm doing other things, I turn the bag upside down, let it drain. The next oh. time I walk back by, I flip it the other way. And you can see it running down yeah. all sides. These are better if they're served the next day. It really oh, has time so to come like, soak so in. I like this. You exactly. marinate your crackers exactly. for your dip. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Good. Fantastic. You can serve um, pimento and cheese, and there is a, uh, we've, we've got pimento and cheese. Uh, you eat all different types of yeah. dips with yeah, something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Or you can um, serve the pimento cheese just with plain crackers, but it really spices things yeah. up when you make just a different kind of It crackers. takes exactly. you to the next level from hospitality. Absolutely. It, it exactly. just makes you more absolutely. like candy stones. All right, <laughs> so let me, let, me, let me touch base here. Uh, we are coming back a little bit later. Okay. Where, what all are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing... Well, we have to talk about drinks because we, the mint julep yeah. is the, the whole key to the derby. So right. we're going to talk about that. And uh, what is more southern than a pecan pie? A homemade mini pecan pie. So we're going to talk about that I'm as ready, well. So Derby ready. Day continues on Good Morning Mississippi. But coming up after the break, we've got more for you. Uh, we'll be right back. That's really cool. This is... 
back to Good Morning Mississippi. If you're just waking up with us, it's 6.33 this Friday morning, the 6th of May, and that means you're one day closer to your Saturday. And what happened Saturday? Well, with everybody dressed up the way they're dressed up this morning, which you're looking fabulous, ladies. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And, uh, Not too bad yourself. Thank you. I got the bow tie going, but w what's the big reason? Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby, ladies and gentlemen. Kentucky Derby happens Saturday, and uh, this morning we've got Candy Stone in our house to make sure your parties are set up the best possible way you can have it, and uh, you're the you're the standout Thank of the you. show, right? You have to have hats, you have to have red roses, mint juleps, but right now we're going to talk desserts. Pecan okay. pies is the most southern dessert there is. Of course. I have got a roll of pre-made uh, cookie. Um, pie crust. Mm -hmm. So I took, this is a little over three inches, maybe even like four inches, just any round cutter that you have. That, I like the little nice edges I'm going to say, it, yeah, it makes really it look cute. like you really went out extra. for this. Exactly. So um, if we can show here, that's what they look like in the end. But we're going to grease our muffin pan. Okay. Cut your circles. I've already placed several in there. So we're going to mm -hmm. do this. So have that good. ready. So right here, I've got a bowl, one cup of corn syrup. Okay. All right. Three fourths cup of white sugar. Ooh. We're going to mix this all together. A lot of sugar There's in the pies. Oh, this is going to be absolutely. super sweet. <laughs> We've got a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. That's really what gives it that flavor that everybody loves. And that loves. color, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that dark color. So okay. Also, three eggs. Those are already beaten. Okay. All right. And we've got about a cup of pecans. If you like pecans, add them on in there. So just dive in, Absolutely. right? Just oh, I'm a huge toss pecan them. Fan. <laughs> Just toss them off. You can use more or less. And so all we're going to do is we're going to spoon just a bit. You don't want to overfill yeah. the cups because it sticks to the pan. So if you don't overfill them, it makes it a lot easier to get those yeah. out when they're done. We're going to bake them at 350 for about 20 to 25 20 minutes. minutes. So super just quick. Just until they're gold. Yeah, exactly. When that so pie you, crust gets brown, you're ready to go. You don't actually throw a pie crust on top, do you? It just no. sits open, no. right? No, with the pecan pie, you let the pecans do the talking on the top. You oh, my goodness. You don't oh cover God. that up, all right? So we're going to spoon this In into there? here. And once you do that, 350, 20, uh, 2, 25 minutes, whenever that pie crust is just nice oh and golden brown. You've got the most southern dessert there is. And That's awesome. Super cute, too. And and <laughs> super cute. Hey, the, uh, lots going on the rest of this morning. Uh, coming up a little bit later, we're going to be talking cocktails, right? Absolutely. We cannot forget that last, but certainly not least. And, and <laughs> definitely diving into a lot of this great food. But before we get to all that, uh, we still got some special guests coming up this half hour. A lot more to get to uh, right now, though. Uh, before your news headlines, our weather today, Tawana. I think, I think the hat is blocking my view <laughs> for you. Yeah, right? it's, it's okay. I, I think as long as we can see the races, right? As long exactly. as we can see the races. Well, I'm finishing out this morning. We are with Miss Candy Stone getting ready for mm -hmm. Derby. Kentucky Derby happens tomorrow. <laughs> Candy, how are we throwing, how are you topping this party Okay, so off? last but not least, you have to have the perfect cocktail. That, of, of course. course, is the mint julep. So what I did is I started out, this is a lemonade mint julep over here. Mm -hmm. uh, the ingredients are uh, one large can of pineapple juice, a little bit of country time. I use Sprite Zero or Sprite. Uh, cold water, mix that together. Mm -hmm. uh, mint, of course, is the, the obviously the yes. mint julep thing there. So garnish with mint. Uh, add in how much ever bourbon or whiskey of your choice, and there you have a lemonade mint julep. The good stuff. So we're going to show you, though, how to make the traditional mint julep. Okay. Well, this is kind of my spin this on things. This is Southern style. Okay. This is Southern style. This is the actual real thing. Okay. okay. So you're going to start just, uh, this, you know, silver mint julep cups are mm -hmm. the, are the uh, original, but we've got little jars here. So what you're going to do, you're going to start with about a half an ounce of simple syrup, which is this right okay. here. Okay. Simple syrup is nothing but sugar and water. I okay. went the easy way and got the store bought. It is equal parts sugar and water okay. equals a simple syrup so don't get confused by that take just a few little this is uh, fresh mint leaves here so okay. you take it put it in the bottom and just kind of gently you mix press those it down together a little exactly all right so you mix that throw some ice throw exactly. some ice fill, fill the glass with ice and then throw on the good and stuff the right most important part we're gonna throw in about two and a half ounces of bourbon and Twana, if you'll grab that right there, that so, one has hey, already been quick, done. All this is going to be up on Facebook today, Absolutely right? Absolutely, everything. Don't forget the pimento and cheese. It is not your traditional pimento and cheese. Uh, <laughs> you can check our Facebook page today. Oh, We're going to have a good. more videos about how you can have a great party. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Candy Stone. Thank you, Michael Jackson. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. We hope you have a great day. Don't forget, uh, have a great weekend. <laughs>